So over here, you can see that I have the WBS numbering uh, enabled right here. And this has a default format of one followed by one followed by dot one and so forth right here. But if you want to go ahead and then change around the numbering format for the WBS numbering system, then you can go around over here onto the uh, project menu right here. That is the project tab. And then you can go around over here in WBS. You can go around and expand this and define code. So once you do that, uh, uh, do that over here, you can define the sequence. Let's say, for example, in first, let's say, for example, I want the uppercase letters. Uh, the length can be any right here, or you can limit out to one or two characters like A and AA and so forth right here. But I'm just going to keep it to any right here. And this is the uppercase letters. After the uppercase letters, let's say I want it to be uh, numbers right here. And after the numbers, let's say I want it to be lowercase uh, letters right there. And then after that, I want it to be, let's say, characters and so forth. And you can see that this is how it shows up. I'm just going to go around and keep it to, let's say, numbers itself right here. Just like this and choose numbers. And you can see how it'll pop up right here, just like this. So once this is done, you can go around and add in a project code prefix as well. Let's say, for example, this is for tutu So I'm just going to add in TT. So it's TTA as you can see right here. Or if I can also add in TTA dot right here. So now if I were to press OK, now you can see that the WBS numbering has changed out and it has been applied right here. Note that this does not change out the outline numbering right here when you enable this out. The WBS numbering is entirely different than the outline number. But here you can see that it is TT right here uh, for the main uh, task right here. Then it's TT dot A, A dot 1, A1 and small letter A right here. And it's A1, small letter A and 1 and so forth as you can see just like this. And that is how you can go around and then um, modify out the WBS numbering format inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.